In this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to integrate MemberPress membership plugin with WP Courseware. Okay, so let's begin. The first thing I'd like to do is demonstrate which plugins I actually have installed here. So you'll notice I've got MemberPress installed. I've also got WP Courseware and I have WP Courseware MemberPress add-on. This is what ties WP Courseware and MemberPress together. Okay, so now let's go over to MemberPress products. And I just quickly want to show that I've got three products set up. Product A, product B, and product C. Okay, so now let's go down to training courses. And let's take a look. We've got several courses here set up. Course A, B, C, and an extra course. And now what I want to do is go over to training courses and member press. Now this option here is not there by default with WP Courseware alone. Uh, the way this option is enabled is by installing the uh, member press add-on for WP Courseware. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on that. And you'll notice I've got product A, product B, and product C. And in order to associate one of the courses that we just looked at with one of the products uh, that we have um, created with MemberPress, we need to go into the Edit Course Access Settings. And you'll notice here, uh, you can select multiple courses or just the one, which in this, in this case, I, I want to associate Course A with Product A. And all you do is uh, save changes. And you'll notice there's, there is another option here, which I will get to uh, here shortly. Okay, so now we can return to our access settings here. So now what we want to do is we actually want to test the functionality. What we want to do is purchase a product and ensure that our user was enrolled into the associated course. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase product A, which should automatically enroll me into course A. And in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and open up another browser. And I'm going to go ahead and click the big buy now button, which is going to give me product A. And I'm going to go ahead and just fill in some bogus data here. Oops. And I'm going to click sign up. And I've already configured um, PayPal sandbox here, so I'm just going to go ahead and enter my password for the sandbox and complete my purchase here. Okay, so let's go ahead and agree and continue. Okay, cool. So it looks like our purchase is complete. So now what I want to do is go back to the other browser and I want to go into our users area and I want to look to see to ensure that Jim, which we just created, was enrolled into course A. And he was. So now what I'd like to do is show the other option that we had when we were associating a course with a product. So in order to do that, we're going to go back down to training courses, member press, and I'm going to go back in to edit the product A course A association. So now what we want to do is demonstrate how this second option here works. It says, do you want to retroactively assign these courses to current customers? Okay, so now let's just say that you've created a course that you would like to associate with product A. And let's just go ahead and say it's co called course B. Well, if you just associate course B with product A, people who have already purchased product A will not necessarily automatically get into course B. Okay, only the people moving forward would get into course B. However, that's where this option comes into play. So now anybody who has purchased product A will now get not only course A, but they'll also get enrolled into course B. So this is to retroactively go back and anybody who has previously purchased the product will now get enrolled into the newly created course. So if you remember, we only had two users. They were both associated with product A. And so now when I add course B to product A, they should automatically get enrolled into course B. So let's go ahead and save changes. Okay, changes were saved successfully. So now let's go back over to users. And you'll notice I've got Bob and Jim. They both had purchased product A, which, which in essence was only associated with course A. But then we went ahead and added course B 
after the fact, after they had already purchased course A. And they were both enrolled into course B successfully. Okay, that completes this demonstration of how to integrate MemberPress with WP Courseware. Thanks for watching.